All right. Hello, everyone. So this is Dr. Tushar Mehta, and today in this video message, I want to talk about a very important aspect and attribute of a human behavior that is belief. There are many uh, aspects of a human psychology. I mentioned many of them here. You can link them to any aspect of life, but what is the most important thing is belief. why i'm talking of belief today is because different people from different genres of society they are uh, having a tough time whether it is a professional who is salaried in a big multinational company or a small scale businessman or even a you know a migrant laborer or maybe the people from government officials and most importantly people from the first line of defense for the country who are Uh, giving their best right now they are the healthcare workers now this word is something which is making all of us go ahead move ahead and fight this tough era of this corona virus now even before this pandemic this word had its own value why i'm saying this is because i have seen many a times that people give up they don't give up because they don't have the capacity or potential to accomplish a task they give up only because of the fact because they don't believe in themselves even if they believe in themselves they probably follow certain taboos certain norms of the society which they think they can't be broken of course we all have heard about this word called as impossible and you know i have already told you in my previous videos also that it is i am possible or i will make it possible but that's okay that's theoretical that's bookish ye sab kitabi baatein hain bolne mein sunne mein sab bahut acha lagta hai but what about this giant leap of faith that one has to take i have to accomplish something i have a dream i have to fulfill that dream you know many of us uh can relate to it i'm sure a majority of the people who are listening to me are you know doctors would be doctors want to be doctors already doctors hum sab ka ek sapna tha jis wajah se hum is field mein aaye why are we you know into this field somebody wanted name somebody wanted fame somebody wanted to serve the humanity somebody probably had a doctor in the family we all had a, a particular reason why we are into this profession but what in the end of the day matters is that we have to fulfill that dream by doing a lot of hard work you have to understand i think i should quote an example here uh, a very good friend of mine like when i entered into mbbs it was my first year and uh, uh, there was a batchmate of mine i asked him that you know why this mbbs why the medical field he said my mom is a case of uh, hypothyroidism so i got influenced by a couple of doctors i said what does that mean i mean are you going to become a doctor 8 years 10 years later and you're going to treat her i mean why he said me and my mom we used to go to a big like a big corporate hospital and of course in those days they were rare big big hospitals private hospitals were rare so he said there was an endocrinologist who was probably one in the whole town and uh, we used to wait for him there used to be long line long waiting period for 45 minutes half an hour at times and we used to wait for him for our appointment we used to go there politely you know my, my mom always used to look up to that guy a couple of times it used to happen that during that consultation period we used to you know we were waiting outside and something happened and he had to leave the opd chamber to attend some patient in the casualty or maybe in the ward then the attending nurse used to come to us in the waiting area and used to tell us that it will take another 20 minutes there is some emergency and he told me that my mom who is normally that patient used to listen to this and used to say no no it's okay it's okay we'll wait So when that doctor used to walk in the corridor, when that endocrinologist used to walk in the corridor, my friend told me that my mom used to, you know, watch him, uh, look him in his blue attire and the white uh, uh, lab coat or the apron, and probably वो उनको जाते हुए नहीं देखती थी, वो एक सपना देखती थी कि एक दिन मेरा बेटा भी ऐसे जाएगा. So I asked my friend that. okay i got the gist of the story that um, your mom saw a doctor she got influenced and she saw a dream in that man and uh, she wanted you to fulfill that dream but how do you come into the picture sapna kisi ka dekha kisi ne dekh ke dekha kisi aur ne aur first tum gaye 
He said, no, that passion was also there in me when my mom used to tell me after every consultation when you used to take a auto or a rickshaw back home, my mom used to tell me that, you know, one day you have to fulfill this dream. So that is why I'm trying to make it possible. You're understanding everything. So this friend of mine who happens to be a very uh, famous surgeon these days, he actually gave me something in the first very month of my MBBS tenure, uh, a, a hope to cross that giant leap of faith, which he was already having. So he was already prepared his he had already prepared his mind to make the word impossible into I am possible and I will make it possible. This is what is called as the belief. Even before starting the journey, he had a belief, he had a dream to accomplish, he had a vision and he knew that he is going to fulfill that. And that is something which I, you know, really liked about that boy. And of course, we, uh, we, we, we were good friends till the entire tenure of MBBS. Guys, this is the belief actually, which is making all of us move. Otherwise, there is nothing else. Everybody has dream, everybody has goals, everybody has got a vision, but the belief to fulfill that dream, the belief to, you know, accomplish that journey, even despite all hurdles and problems, that is the actual driving force, or I would say that is the first ingredient to success. This is a question asked many times by people that, you know, what all is required for success or what is a secret recipe to success? We all have vision, we all have mission, we all have passion, but belief is, I think, probably, you know, this is the first ingredient which is required to kickstart a journey to become a successful person. At times, I see people who are optimistic, but still they lose their faith in the path of journey. In fact, I would like to dedicate this video only to those people. Jo beach raste apna in fact, I can share one more story here. This story is about a man who was crossing an area of jungle. And he saw a couple of elephants over there and there was a there was an iron chain which was holding one of the elephants. There was a caretaker of those elephants. That man stopped. He saw a big giant creature uh, that's an elephant and then he saw a very small tiny uh, chain. I'm sure you can see them, see that on your screen as well. He asked that man, that caretaker a question. He said such a giant creature, an animal called elephant and you are binding him with a small chain which is attached to a small hook in the ground. That man told him a very interesting story. He said, I will tell you the you know the, the reason behind it that when these giant elephants which you are looking at right now, when they were baby elephants, like they were too small, at that point of time we used to tie them with ropes. Similar ropes. And when this elephant was a baby elephant, then that rope was sufficient enough to hold that elephant at one place. Now what happens is that as an elephant grows, the interesting part is that because the elephant was a baby elephant and that rope was sufficient enough to hold that elephant, the elephant starts believing that at any given point of time, I will not be able to break that rope and set myself free. So even though the size of an elephant grows as the baby elephant becomes an adult elephant, it gains a massive mammoth power, it can do anything, it can topple around any animal coming its way, but still it does not break that one simple single iron rope. Why? Because of the belief. Because the elephant, the mammoth element, the giant elephant has been made to believe that you cannot break this rope. And it is a belief which is instilled right from its childhood. And that memory, we know that elephants have got an incredible memory and that memory gets incorporated here. I can't break it, I can't break it, I can't break it. Agreed, he couldn't break it when he was a baby elephant. But as age passed by, he gained massive power, but still he doesn't break it because he's forced to believe even his entire adulthood that he can't do it. So that belief of the childhood did not allow that massive elephant to do something which can be possibly done by you know the capability and the capacity of an elephant 
सो वट हैव यू अंडरस्टूड इस इस स्टोरी से हमने क्या सीखा दैट यू आर फुल कैपेसिटी टू डू एनी जॉब योर एबिलिटी टू डू एनी जॉब इज यूजलेस इफ यू डोंट हैव अ बिलीफ इन योर सेल्फ दैट आई कैन डू इट क्या फ़ायदा हुआ इतना ताकतवर जानवर होने का कि जब एक छोटी सी रस्सी से वो अपने आप को समझा नहीं पाया कि रस्सी मुझे नहीं रोक सकती बट वो यही सोचता रहता है कि रस्सी मुझे रोक रही है मुझे नहीं करने दे रही है क्योंकि वो बचपन से उसको यही बताया गया जब उसका वक्त था कि वो कुछ नहीं कर सकता था तब से वो रस्सी उसे रोक रही है और वो आज भी उस रस्सी को उतनी वैल्यू दे रहा है वी आर नॉट सपोज टू गिव वैल्यू टू दीज फेक क्रिटिसिजम्स वी आर नॉट सपोज टू गिव वैल्यू टू सर्टन पीपल हु एक्चुअली आर एक्टिंग एज अ रोप इन आर लाइफ माई फर्स्ट मैसेज टू यू एस फाइंड आउट दोज रोप्स जो तुम्हें बचपन से सिखा रही हैं कि नहीं हो पाए फाइंड आउट दो क्रिटिक्स जो तुम्हें हमेशा कह रहे हैं कि दिस इज नेवर बीन डन दिस के नॉट बी डन आई डोंट थिंक यू शुड डू दिस नो यू टू फाइंड दैम यू टू ब्लॉक दैम सोशल मीडिया पे वे अव अ ब्लॉक बटन प्लीज अप्लाई दैट ब्लॉक बटन इन योर लाइफ इज वेल ट्राई टू यूज दैट ब्लॉक बटन इन योर पर्सनल लाइफ इज वेल यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट नो रो कैन स्टॉप यू एंड बिलीफ इज समथिंग दैट इज गोइंग टू मेक यू मूव बहुत लोग रुके हुए हैं काम नहीं कर रहे हैं कर नहीं पा रहे हैं क्योंकि बिलीफ है दैट इन दिस एक्ट ऑफ पैंडमिक वी आर जस्ट ट्राइंग टू सर्वाइव वी कॉन्ट डू एनी थिंग अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट आई गेट दिस मैसेज फ्रॉम मेनी स्टूडेंट्स कि सर अभी तो सर्वाइवल ही एक बहुत बड़ा इशू है सर आई थिंक वी कैन टेक केयर ऑफ स्टडीज लेटर ऑन प्रॉब्लली दिस इज बींग डन बाई यू नो मेनी पीपल इन अदर प्रोफेशन एज वेल नो belief is the only thing that is going to make you move otherwise everything is just a waste of time have faith in yourself have belief in yourself no chain is supposed to stop you no chain is sufficient enough to stop you no chain is strong enough to stop you there are many chains that you have since your childhood or probably your you know even before that please identify those chains please break those chains please break those chains and have belief because the only thing with which you can break those chains is belief vishwas your reality is a reflection of your strongest belief the strongest belief that you have about you is probably going to turn into reality and that is why i have used this quotation here jo aaj ki sachai hai wo tumhare sabse bade vishwas ka pratibimb hai jo tum apne bare mein sochte ho apni kabiliyat ke bare mein sochte ho tumhari sachai usi ka aks hai tumhe usi pe dhyan dena hai tumhe usi ko manna hai kisi aur ko nahi manna hai you have to just understand that to fight even if you're alone that doesn't matter you have your belief with you so my dear students my dear listeners my dear viewers the only thing that i want to convey with this video is belief if you don't have that nothing is sufficient for you to touch the sky so keep believing keep enjoying and thank you so much until next video bye bye